this is, and actually I'm going to go up here because, I, well, I kind of have an example. But you know that the most important part of any speech, right? Your very first 30 seconds and your very last 30 seconds, right? Absolutely. So I know, we all know, the timer doesn't start until I'm really talking. Yeah, and you're still on stage, right? So what you might do is before the meeting or even as you're coming up, have that there so that, that uh, I'll come back to the starfish, but have that there before you get started. The starfish on the ground. And up here, I know the gavels in the land are stuff, but I'd rather you come up and say, thank you very much. There was a boy who was on the beach. He had, but well, move this, but talk to me first and don't manage stuff. Right? Because you have this thing. I assume this is back in the middle. This is here, you come up and you're you've been you've been announced, right? You're introduced and you're like. <laughs> right? So I, Did you pull me up, kids? You, you're on, we see you. You know? So that first 30 seconds, you come up, you get announced, and you go, thank you very much. Today I'm going to tell you a story about something awesome you're not ready for. There was a little boy on the beach, and you know, get this out of the way like that. You can kind of handle this as you go without being terribly distracting, I think. But, uh, and Michael, you had to do it because your sergeant arms couldn't do that. You were the guy. Right? So yours is the same but different. Right? So get that out of the way. And then with the starfish, the thing is, you had it, and you said, and you saw a bunch of starfish on the ground. See my starfish? Right? It's a little goofy to put it all together. So drop it before you start talking. Right? I know this is a little like minor stuff. All the power in the world is first. Don't let me watch you have it on big stuff. Yeah. Um, you have a great voice. You're strong. It's very good. I, I would like more vocal variety from you. Just change it up. Uh, when you speak in somebody else's voice, change your voice a little. Use Bo's voice. Be deeper. And my mom said, you should do this. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I think that's really important. Uh, that's a different piece of vocal variety, but it's characters. If you use a character in your story, act more like that character. Uh, I think you're very strong. You're very persuasive. And I just want to be emotionally involved, too. Those, that helps, like when you play the characters. Thank you, great. Thanks.